Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It is time for a little Lego set today. This is the Lego Friends Emma's Karate Class, and this is one of the very first sets that were released for Lego Friends, and it's the only one to date that has any sort of Asian influence in it. It's really cool because, well, it's Emma's Karate Class. I mean, it doesn't get much cooler than that. So, <laughs> well, it actually does get cooler because Emma has got her karate gi on. So her, she's got a like a completely new outfit that we don't see anywhere else, or and we haven't seen since. I would love to see more of these sort of sets. And of course, she has to have the ubiquitous bow in her hair. Very important when a girl is heading off to her karate class. She might have to think of a redesign for that bow to pull her hair back before she actually gets started. So it's up and out of the way. But we've got started now. It's time for us to start building the first part of our karate class. And it's a lovely little sleek box with a tree in the middle of it. It's a bonsai tree. Oh, that looks very sleek and elegant and sophisticated. I'm loving this theme. I want to see more in this theme. I think it looks fantastic. Okay, um, our next part of our build is... Uh, I don't know yet. Let's see. We've got two little... Oh, I ha okay. I have an idea. We're going to smooth over the tops here. And then we need something that's going to balance on those bars in the middle. This is going to be her chopping block. And as you can see, there is a weakness in the middle. So when she goes, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, then she's going to break it really well. She can run around and then bow very sedately. And her bow has fallen off. I told you, the bow no place, no, has no place in the karate class. And let's try that again. We ready? And hi-ya! Hi -ya. There we go. I think she just <laughs> entirely knocked it off without... Oh no, she did break it. Well done. So we can put it on the top or the bottom. What are you doing now? Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's just cheating. In fact, I don't think you even broke it. No, you did break it. I, I'm wrong so many times today. <laughs> Alright, good work, Emma. But we've only just finished a small part of this karate class set, so let's do the next piece. The chopping block is kind of awesome. <laughs> we can have all sorts of fun with it. Alright, next part. And we have a lot of smooth areas here. Oh, very nice. So we've got a oh, we've got a screen in here. That's good. And so this is part of the dojo wall. So that looks very nice there. It's going to set our scene very well. She's got a big tall bottle of water or maybe an energy drink over there. So she's going to need that to keep her strength up, keep herself hydrated while she's exercising. And there we have the top. That looks really good. And she can sit down here and have a bit of a drink. See, there we go, when she's parched after she's worked so hard on <laughs> breaking that chopping block. Okay, next part. Oh, we have a hinge. I like hinges. Hinges make things interesting. That's cool. So that can go in and out. So we can decide how it goes, I suppose. And at the moment, they're symmetrical. But now they're not. Not symmetrical anymore. So what are we putting on here? Oh, okay. There's a gold cup, so a trophy area. And a helmet over on the other side. And a little display case, it looks like, for the trophy. That's really great. Another jumper up here. And we've got a medal. A gold medal in a red velvet case. Oh, that's really nice. And uh, some more, an extension of the trophy case. We're going up and we're putting across the top. And that looks good too. And a big, tall yellow wall with a hook at the top for holding the sword, the katana. Let's put that there. That's nice and safely put up there. That'll go with the helmet. And of course, she brings her basket, her karate bag to karate so that she can put her shoes and her bow in there or her spare katana. Yep, no, it doesn't fit. <laughs> all right, so we're all built. The dojo has everything it needs. Now we just got to set it up and she can, whoa, do some chopping block action. So what happens if we put it down on the lower level here? She can do, oh, a headbutt. Wow, that's got to hurt. <laughs> what about back up on the top? And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that didn't break that time. You're going to need a little bit more force on your impact. You ready? And boom. There we go. 
That's good. That was so forceful that your hair's not even on straight anymore. So you might need to stop for a bit of a drink, a bit of a rest before you put on your kendo helmet and get your katana and do some kendo. Okay, break time is over. Time to get all kitted up for the next session. All right, helmet is on. Got a couple of swords. Do you know what this set is missing though? It's something for her to actually practice well, beating up, <laughs> practice her skills on. So I've stolen the straw man, I've borrowed the straw man from my Ninjago Temple of Ejitsu and <laughs> she's already giving it a good work over. Woo! Oh my gosh, look at her whirl, she goes so fast. <laughs> she's like, she's like the speed of light and she's absolutely destroyed <laughs> my straw man. Yes, well done. Put those sharp pointy things down now. <laughs> face them towards the floor. <laughs> All right, we're going to leave Emma to continue practicing her karate. She's obviously very good at and <laughs> she's now got a brand new dojo to work in. So that is really cool. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be back soon with some more Lego building. Click like if you enjoy my videos. Check out some of my other silly videos and I'll see you again very, very soon.